the thing about achieving the impossible is it's a question of handling the bad times because whenever you you have a big goal or you take the untrodden path be prepared that you you're going to have some bad times you will face setbacks there'll be failures but the people who actually win in the end have this quality number 1 they never give up you only lose when you give up and secondly they have the ability to cope with the bad time the bigger the goal the more shocks you're going to have the more no more setbacks the more failures you should expect anyway now i by this time now i'm conditioned i'm conditioned to seeing ups and downs so i i know i have exactly developed the mechanism how to cope with failure when you have a sound thrashing failure has its own dynamics what it does is that you you will find that even your close friends view you differently even they change towards you so so if you expect all this then you can deal with failure very well because what failure does is something invaluable it gives you time for soul searching it enables you to analyze your mistakes it is the one time where you learn you can learn failure can be the best teacher provided you do not get demoralized by failure if you get demoralized you've lost if you can assess and analyze your mistakes it is a stepping stone to moving higher all the people who i knew over my life who were successful had one quality they could handle failure and they they had the best analysis they were the best critics of themselves and if you if you have this ability and this is really what education should do it should give you the ability to be uh, analyze your self very well and that is the time that you work to eliminate your mistakes and you get stronger so the secret of success is that each time you have a setback and remember the higher the goal the more the setbacks each time you analyze work hard to eliminate the mistake in anything you do and then you can move forward but never the biggest problem is that when you have a setback is that there is a big temptation to scale down your dreams to scale down your ambition to suddenly expect something less of you this is the biggest trap most people fail when they compromise on their dreams and their vision in times of weakness it is the time when a when a person is vulnerable and in this state of vulnerability you will make a fatal mistake by scaling down on your ambition the body follows the mind mind is what is the the power in a human being the power of mind you can only discover this power when you when you look inside and pit yourself against challenges the more you challenge yourself the more strength you will discover inside the positive mindset is we will win negative fight mindset is we should not lose any policies you make out of fear are destined for disaster policies should whenever you make your own policies in life they should never be determined out of fear of anything and the worst fear is fear of losing because a fear of losing stops you from winning whatever your dreams are always never think that you will not achieve it i have never ever ever thought that there is whatever i put my mind to never has it entered my mind that i won't achieve it what is it that you want what are the goals you set yourself is it just to become a prime minister is it just to become a member of parliament a minister what is your ambition so the greater the ambition the greater hard work you've got to do there are no shortcuts in life if you want to achieve something big there is no such thing as a as a quick way of achieving anything great you have to go through the process because it's the process that makes you it's the process that strengthens you and it's the the each time you fall and pick yourself up you come back much stronger but the secret is you never ever give up you only lose when you give up and the ability to handle the bad times no you should develop a mechanism so So in my opinion if you create the conditions if the, if there are the right conditions you can do anything the the one thing which in my opinion there's a verse in the Quran 
those who have faith, Allah removes their fears. Fear is the biggest problem in this country. 